Hi, this is Paddy from Rumi again. Um, in this video, we're going to look at how to manage and keep your animal groups up to date in Rumi. Um, now, because you'll want to be matching supply, grass supply with animal demand as closely as possible, it's important to keep track of what your animal group's demand is. Um, so we'll, we'll be looking at a few things for, um, during this. So how to update your, your animal group's demand, um, how to add new groups, and also how to, how to delete them. So if you remember in the last video, we, group, uh, we set up this um, animal group called cow group one, um, and this is a beef herd. So we'll, we'll just talk through from a beef perspective and then add a new group for dairy um, to, as an example of that next. So we click on this group. You can, you can update it very easily. At the top level, it will show you the total weight, the total demand, your number of animals. Um, but of course, um, because the, as the animals rotate and graze, they're going to be they're going to be growing all the time, and of course that's what we want to spe in a in a beef herd. So all you do is edit it. You can, assuming your number of animals stays the same, that can remain constant. If you've taken a few away for kill, then you can adjust that. So if it goes to forty five, or um, you you also need to adjust the average animal weight up to six hundred, then you can you can just do that. And, and then hit save and it will adjust the overall demand. That will then, oh, we've just got to, um, just got to update the, um, the stock class, which is this one, and then that's calculated and then hit save. And that'll update your overall group demand. Now we recommend maybe doing that every couple of weeks because the, the, the more, the, the better you keep up to date with that, the more, you'll be able to um, match grass supply and demand and the more accurately your um, grazing days ahead will be, especially when you look on the grass wedge. We'll talk a bit more about grass wedges later as well. Um, we recommend having as few animal groups as possible. You'll, um, you, you, the, the more, the fewer you have, the more simple you can keep your system. However, you might want to have a couple and I'm going to show you how to add another group should you want to and also run a kind of a dairy example. So if we go to add animal group, we're going to call this uh, milkers for now. And um, let's say that our average animal group weight is um, 600. So we've got 50 animals, of course, it just depends on what you have. Um, and then we are going to go choose, choose the demand for um, dairy. It's in here. I know it is. Dairy cows. And we're going to go for over two months post-calving. That will then give you a suggestion of 17.5 um, kilograms of dry matter per day per animal. Um, we do show the percentage body weight, but that's really for your, your beef farmers and your daily live weight gain. What you can do on Rumi as well is you can add a further stock class to that group if you want. So you might have um, calves with mothers um, or, or, or any other sort of different type of animal that has a different demand you want to put in that group. You can add that and it will put it into the overall group demand. So we, we won't do that just for now, but to let you know the feature exists. Um, so once you've put in those details, click save, and you've got the animal group milkers, um, which you can see at the top level here. Of course, you've got to actually add the fields to the rotation for that animal group first. So let's quickly do that. We'll go, we'll put this one in milkers. The next field we'll add to milkers as well. And the next one, and then we will put the animals in a field. So now we can see there's our milking group. We've set up two animal groups, milkers next to our beef herd. Now it's much more likely you'd have just milking cows or beef herds, but just for the, just for the example. Um, and of course you can go in, you can update your animal groups. And, and if you want to delete an animal group, create a new one, that's possible as well. So um, having shown you how to set up milkers, let's, let's delete that group now. Very simple, more options, uh, menu button, delete animal group, and there you have it. And all the fields that were previously assigned to that group just go back into having a silage status or are not assigned to a, a rotation status. 
Um, so hope that was helpful and um, yeah, look forward to um, seeing you in the next video.